So hello, my name's Rob, this is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios, and today we're going to be looking at this rather beat up old Dreadnought. Now this was given to me by my friend Ben, thanks again buddy, I really appreciate it. Um, it's actually one of the original ones, it's the soft plastic model, it's 23 years old, and uh, much like I guess the uh, there's only a duty end in death, um, I do believe that this little guy's got a little bit more life in him. So in this video, which will be part one, uh, I'm actually going to strip him and make a few alterations to the model. And I'm going to show you how exactly I've done it and just how easy it is to save money um, buying secondhand miniatures, really. So the first thing we need to do is take stock of the situation. Now we can see here that we've got some lovely thick paint, we've got some bits um, glued on, and we've also got, well, quite a lot of clogged detail. Now, my normal go-to method for things like this um, would be a sonic cleaner. However, we are gonna need something a bit more heavy duty. For this method, you can use plastic and the older plastic, especially from GW, the hard stuff, um, but do refrain from putting resin or fine cast in there as it will just dissolve it. So methylated spirits, this is available in the UK. Um, it's about two pound for about 500 milliliters and it is just amazing. All I'm going to do first is I'm just gonna test the waters with it to make sure everything kind of cleans up how I want to. So I'm gonna put some of the smaller bits in but keep the body out for the minute. And I'm just gonna pop the lid on and I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to work its magic. So nothing's melted or dissolved and the thing isn't bubbling or smoking. Absolutely fantastic, that's what we want. So I'm just gonna put all the bits in and I'm gonna make sure that it's all submerged. Everything's had a very good coat of the methylated spirits and leave it to do a work, it's magic. This will probably take about 10 minutes. It's not a long process. This really does bring up paint pretty swiftly. I think this was about um, 10, 12 minutes since I, I put these in. And as you can see here, it's already started to make a hell of a difference. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get an old toothbrush, don't use a new one. And I'm just gonna gently just scrub it where it looks like the paint is lifting. As you can kind of see here on that little purity seal and the, the sarcophagus at the front, yeah, it's doing what we need it to do. I'm happy with this. So all I'm gonna do now is top it up, making sure everything is 100% submerged and that it's all just really kind of got enough around it to, to kind of soak. We want to leave it to sit there for a good 10-15 minutes. So I've taken it out and as you can see here as I've scrubbed the base I'm really happy with the you know where we're at. It, some bits might need a little bit longer some might not need as many. This is a I mean it's, some bits have been in now for nearly 25 minutes as you can see the paint was very thick on them. Um, but all I'm doing really to clean these up, and as you can see here, you know, it's, it looks a lot worse than what it is, but you can actually pull this away with your finger. And all I'm gonna do is using a brush, I'm just gonna very gently just start scrubbing all that excess paint away. I do feel a little bit bad that, you know, that paint's <laughs> older than both my kids combined. Um, but as you can see, it really does, um, it just brings it back. Um, my go-to method, methylated spirits. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna clean up the rest of it now and we'll see what we end up with. So I've cleaned absolutely everything up and you can see here, this is what we are left with. We do have a few little blue spots still showing through. Um, sometimes it just won't scrub off. It's almost like it's um, eating its way into the plastic. However, you can see here, <laughs> we're pretty good. Um, something I'm a big advocate for is saving money in this hobby. And with the current cost of living crisis in the UK and just how expensive some GW kits can be, I would always recommend if you can do buy second hand because do you know what, with just a little bit of elbow grease, um, I, I think this whole process took about an hour. You can actually end up with a model that's pretty much, you know, back to the bare plastic. However, I did just want to kind of make a few alterations to this guy. Um, the purity seal I did remove because I have loads of them um, and I will use that to uh, 
my advantage a little bit later um, in part two and also the little insignia here uh, I did just want to remove as I wanted these panels nice and flat for painting um, some of the I think that there must have been some super glue clogged in here so I thought it best just to remove it and this is what we're left with all I did was smooth it out with my blade and make sure everything was nice and flat like so and that's it for prep work uh, I am going to wash this in some warm soapy water and call this good. Join me for part two where I prime it and paint it. That's coming soon. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. God bless and take care.